Reports. The reports have two purposes. To give you information to help you understand your business better and provide information to help you and your accountant follow the transactions you have recorded to prepare your taxes. Each section has its own specific reports and a description of the report appears next to the report name. However, the process for selecting and printing reports is consistent throughout all sections and programs, so let's have a look at that now. Step 1 is to select a report. Click on the Reports tab to view the list of available reports listed with the description of the report. Click on the report you require and then click on Continue or simply double click on the report name. Step 2 is to select the report options. The report options are separated into three areas. The top area is for account, customer or supplier options. Depending on the report you have selected, the program has the options for all current or selected accounts. Invoice manager reports have options for all or selected customers or suppliers. The next area is for date options. There are generally seven options. Last month sets the dates to last month. Last quarter sets the dates to the last quarter. Last year sets the dates to the last financial year. This month sets the dates to the month you are working in. This quarter sets the dates to the quarter for the month you are working in. This year sets the dates for the financial year you are working in. Custom lets you select the period you want to report for. Then we have other options that will apply to some reports. For example, if you use the gold program, some reports include other options such as including information from Invoice Manager with the Cash Flow Manager reports or printing summary or detailed reports and so on. Step 3 is to select the print options. Once you have selected the report options you can preview or print the report or you can save the report in a variety of formats. Make your choice by clicking on the Excel, Save As, Preview or Print buttons. When you choose Excel, the file will be saved in a format that is specifically designed to make it easier to work in Excel, although it is not an Excel file as such. The saved in comma separated value format and will open the report in Excel. These are different to the other Excel reports under the Save As option and are generally easier and more flexible to work with. Click the Save As button in the Print Options area to save a report. The program can save reports in different formats for convenience of transferring to another program for your employees or for your accountant. Click on the Save Files as Type selector to access the different formats. You can choose from HTML web page, HTM, Excel spreadsheets, XLS, Word document, DOC, PDF document, PDF, text file, TXT, or TIFF image, TIF. The PDF format is widely used in the computer world and is a great way to save your reports in a format that can be easily read electronically and also save paper. You will be prompted with a standard Windows Save window where you can choose the location to save the file, the file name and the type of file format. You can select your own location but the default location for saving reports will be the program Reports folder. Click the Save button to save the reports. You can also save reports in various formats after you have selected to preview the report as well. When you choose Preview, you can print the report, email a PDF copy of the report, or save as an Excel spreadsheet, 
an Acrobat PDF file or a rich text file .rtf document. Click on the zoom icons at the bottom left of the preview to zoom in and out on your report. You can also view different pages using the page selector icons at the bottom of the screen. Email reports. Emailing a report will automatically save the report as an Adobe PDF document readable by the program Adobe Reader. You must have an email client program such as Outlook or Outlook Express configured for your email in order for the email options to work. Webmail, for example, Hotmail, Yahoo or Gmail or others accessed through a web page will not work with this option. A new window will appear with information about the email document. Type in the recipient's email address into the box marked to send to. A subject is not required but can be filled in the box marked subject. The third box shows a list of files attached to the email. The report just generated will be attached here. You can add other attachments by clicking the Add Attachment button at the bottom. This will bring up an open dialog window to browse and find the documents you require. When ready, click the Open button to add items. To remove any added attachments, select the attachment item from the list and click the Remove Attachment button at the bottom. There is a field where you can enter additional information for the email which will be the email message body. Click in the box under the additional text tab and type your message. When you are ready to send, click the send button. Also note that some email programs are designed to block other programs sending emails for security and privacy reasons. As the program tries to send an email, you may get a message or messages asking if you wish to allow access to send this email. You need to allow or accept this or the email will not be sent.